Hello and good morning. My name is Pablo Ocento. And today, I would like it to ask myself a question and then answer it because it has been going on for a very long time. And it is today that I discovered the answer to it. But why do we call a river bank a river bank? I mean, why do we call it that? Today when I was going through my notes, you know, in preparation of my uh, upcoming examination, I discovered that we have three workers in the stream channel. And those three workers are responsible for what we call a riverbank. The first worker does the erosion. And the erosion can be defined as a progressive removal of mineral materials from the floor and the sides of the channel. That's the work of the first worker. And then the second one can be defined, you know, the worker, I mean, what the worker, what the second worker does is that he transports the material. You know, you understand that the material has, needs to go to, 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 to the bank. So what he does, can, tra it can transport these materials in three ways. The first one is <clears throat> through suspension. The material can either be suspended in the body of the channel, or this worker can decide that uh -uh, today the material seems to be heavy for me. I will drag it on the seabed, on the channel, yeah, on the channel floor. Or, he can make his job easier. He can transport the material in solution, in the form of a solution. You know what a solution is? All right. And then, there comes the, the third guy who has the simplest job in the company. All he does is to accumulate all this eroded materials which have been transported in three ways and eroded in two ways which I've mentioned previous, like earlier, um, takes this and deposits the material in the bank. In the bank. That's it, people. Um, thank you for listening. Um, until next.